Hello, this is a screencast on combining functions using tables. So we look at our first uh, function combination, which is f plus g of 3. So we look when x is 3, and we have f of 3 plus g of 3, and f of 3 is negative 1, and g of 3 is 5. So negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Therefore, f plus g of 3 is 4. Our next equation, f minus g of 4. So we're looking when x is 4, what is f of x and g of x at 4? So f of 4 minus g of 4. f of 4 is 5. And g of 4 is negative 2. So we have minus a negative 2 which is actually plus 2, which is 7. So f minus g of 4 is a positive 7. Then we're looking at f times g of 6. So when x is 6, f of 6 times g of 6. f of 6 is 0, and g of 6 is 4. 0 times 4 is 0, so therefore f times g of 6 is 0. We have f divided by g of 5, so f of 5 divided by g of 5. So we're looking when x is 5, it's 3 for f of 5, and negative 6 for g of 5. So 3 divided by a negative 6 is a negative 1 half. So f divided by g of 5 is negative 1 half. And our last one is g minus f of 5. So we're doing g of 5 minus f of 5. And if we look, our g of 5 is negative 6. We're subtracting our f of 5, which is 3, which is going to be negative 9. So g minus f of 5 is negative 9. And that's how you combine functions with tables. So here are a few that I'd like to try I'd like you to try on your own. We have f plus g of 4, f minus g of negative 2, f times g of 0, and f divided by g of 2. Thank you for listening. Good luck.